Welcome back everyone, my name is Joe and today I'm doing a brand new plugin review and the plugin in question is on custom jump pads. So this plugin will allow you to make custom jump pads, uh, it will allow you to set the power, permissions, colours um, and also distances, uh, sorry directions. So then let's actually get into it. So we're going to make a jump pad so we can jump across this water. So you'll need to get a, a, a pressure plate or a slime block uh, to uh, make it. Then we're going to run the command JP and this will give us a list. So we can also click on these to automatically fill in the command. So we're going to create and then when you set the power, so I'm going to go 10 and then the angle, I'm going to go 6. And then when we walk over it, it launches us across. So I'm also going to do one back, but I'm going to do a higher angle of let's say 30 so this will launch us right up in the air and as you can see here the particle trail we we can uh, look as it follows us down we can also set permissions for these so let's say you want um, uh, uh, pressure plates for uh, donators you could say so as you see here we can do jp and then permission so we can also click on it to automatically fill out and then we can uh, type in a permission node what we want to set it to so i'm just going to go do a nice simple jp1 for the permission node and as long as you get that permission, you can jump over uh, that permission, uh, sorry, that pad. So we can also look up infos of these pads. So if we go to it and then type in JP info, it'll actually show us uh, what, what we've actually changed on this pad. So as you can see here, we can also set the color. So you will use to have, you have to use the Minecraft um, uh, color tags. So that's normally and and then a letter. So we'll change this to light green. As you can see there, and when we jump over, we've got the light green following us. You can also do them at much longer distances. As you can see here, jumps all the way over there, and we can go back. You can go further than these. Then also we have the list command, so we can just click on that, or we can type it. But as you see here, we can uh, see all the pads we've got in this world. Uh, we actually we can actually TP them. So this is the one with the high angle. And then we can actually delete them like this. And you can also delete all of them uh, using this command up here. So you can also uh, do the reload uh, to uh, see uh, to, if you made any changes in the config. So anyway, let, talking about the config, let's go and have a look at them. So you've got two config files. You've got the jump pads where it, they're all listed out, as you can see here. So this is the one we set the permission node on and set the color. And then there's also the main config file up here. So... When we look through here, we can you know change the max power. Uh, you know, it equals approximately 110 blocks per 50. You can set also when they walk onto it, we can set a certain direction if we want to launch them in one direction or uh, lock them into a single direction. And then you can also uh, change the uh, default particles and all this down here. So it's a really cool plugin, really lightweight. I highly recommend you go and check out. And it's also a free plugin on spigot what is a major bonus so yeah anyway guys thank you for watching make sure you uh, subscribe like all the links are down in the description go and follow me on twitter and also please suggest any plugin reviews you want me to do down in the comments and i'll see you next time bye bye